Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Good mon 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 Monday morning. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's having uh, fresh air to breathe. I do. Um, others don't, though. Whew. It's going to be a crazy week. We are um, approaching 200,000. Probably hit that um, today. And a president that just... Uh, so, um, just sending love and light out to all of those that need it. Just healing, healing energy. Um, and you all know who you are. Also, um, quick note, I wanted to pull a card for Kevin and Ginger. Ginger is Kevin's new service dog. So I just wanted to pull a card. And what I got is the Four of Air. Nice. Nice. This card, it's an angel sitting on the clouds. And <laughs> little hummingbird just came up on my window again. Yay! Um, this angel sitting on the cloud. Ginger and Kevin are so good for each other. They heal each other. They bring comfort. Ginger looks like a big fluffy pillow, by the way. They bring comfort and and um, just a sense of peace for everything that is going on around them. And so it's just a match made in heaven. So I'm so happy that you guys found each other. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, that's my Monday card. Kevin and Ginger. The other card that I pulled, hang on, I'm going to grab them. Okay, before I get to that, I want to get into some business real quick. Um, Scott Sheila and I had, uh, on Thursday, had uh, a group reading, Man Cave. <laughs> it's kind of funny, the Man Cave. Anyway, um, and there's so much stuff going on when I, for me, in, in my head. It's, you know, you got the, the chats going here, and you got the cards and the questions and people talking. It's like, whoa, so much going on. Um, and some people were donating on the channel, and I just wanted to uh, thank them because I, I didn't. Because I, I didn't even know. A lot of times I just missed it. So... Um, thank you, thank you, thank you to Joe, Lisa, Jason, Greeter, TK, Peggy, Sujine, and Anne. Thank you all. And thank you all for the people who are just watching. That's so, I mean, it's, it's not about money. It's not about, you know, it, it's about people being engaged, this, this whole community. So it's, it's so awesome. So awesome. Anyway, moving on. Last night. Before I go to sleep, I pull a card, um, and I pulled two. The first one I pulled was Justice. I'm like, oh, wow. And I'm looking at the card, and I'm going, beautiful. Look at those wings. Oh, my gosh, so nice. So nice. I, I didn't make the connection yet. You guys are probably already there. You're way ahead of me. I'm going, oh, okay, look at that hot sword. And then it gets cool as it sticks into the ground. Nice. And then I pulled this one. And I made the connection. Ruth. This is the card that I pulled when I said she was dancing in heaven. Dancing with her angels. And... 
there is such a, a strong sense for me about her at this time. And I have not really thought about her. I've not really been, I don't focus on the Supreme Court. I mean, she's a great woman, but I, you know, I, I didn't do, I didn't pay much attention to her. Um, but she is, there's this presence. And, you know, I don't know if you all can feel it, but she is not going gently into that good night. She's still going to be around. She is still going to be helping us out. I feel so strongly about that. Anyway, um, since I got those cards, let's read on Trump throwing this. Um, he said he's going to pick a, a, a nominee by by Friday. <sighs> My gosh. You know, just... This, oh. So, let's just um, read on that a little bit and see... Is that a smart move for him? Well, I'm going to pause and think about the question. Okay. I don't want to say, is it good for him? Because it's not about him. It's about us. Is it good for the country that he moves forward with this pick so quick? And um, as I'm shuffling and thinking, I hope it's not too loud. I got a, uh, an image of John Roberts in here. His energy is not very happy. It's pissed. So, Trump picking the Supreme Court um, person to be nominated is is that good for the country to do it so quick? Is it good for the country? It's all about him. So. We have the moon being crossed by the hangman. So. When I look at this card, it's. It's the passing of. It's the darkness. It's the. It's. It's. You know, a lot of times that shadow information is just howling at the moon. And you have the two ghost dogs down here howling at the moon. And, and the feeling that I'm getting with that is that it's it's us in agony. Ow, ow. We're howling. We're, we're wailing. The sadness of it. And it's being crossed by the hangman. Let's just take a break. Right? There is going to be some new energy coming through. Um, we have the hermit all alone searching. And we have the Republicans just pushing it through. Their money is blocking the doorway. So is this good for the country? No, no. I don't see it as good. Is it like horrible for the country? I don't know. Let's ask. You know, the people that he's throwing around, I haven't really looked into them a lot. There's a Federalist. That'll be fun. There's uh, um, a very strong... Catholic with strong views. That'll be fun. And I was raised Catholic, so I get to say that. I hear people going, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, will it be good for the country? That's what I asked. Will it be bad for the country? Will it be horrible for the country? 
it will be horrible for the country. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's okay. So the first two cards I got, Six of Swords being crossed by the Chariot. Yeah, it's it's not good. That these cards are both moving on cards. They sh we should you know we need to move to calmer waters, and this is not calmer waters. This is two different directions. It's all about and we had that before. It's all about the big money. Um, so. Let's see if we can find out, is this going to, um, we already know it's energizing the Democrats as far as money goes, but is this going to be energizing the Democratic um, movement? And, and what I mean by that is in 2016, the Republicans ran on, you cannot let the uh, Hillary Clinton pick the next um, Supreme Court justice. And now it's the same situation, but um, I'm feeling that the Democrats are a lot more invested in it. Where they weren't that much in 2016, according to one article I read. And I just think that we now see what the, what this administration is capable of. And I think people are just going, hell no. So let's see if the Democrats are gonna be more invested and like make that a really are the voters really concerned with this let's just see are the voters really, I know what you guys are you guys are very concerned what about the other guys what about the other two that are not watching my channel oh it's just not us it's the world the world is looking at this. It's being crossed by Page's Swords. We have the Hanged Man again. It's interesting. The Hanged Man's right side up. Taking a different look at things. Seeing things from a different point of view. We have the Three of Cups behind. We have the Six of Cups, the top of the reading in the potential near future, the Three of Swords, the heartbreak. So when I look at this, the energy that I get in, in reading this is we so much want a new, a new truth. Something new coming in. Um, we want to be a community again. The world wants to be a community again. We want to go back to a simpler time. Let me drop this down so you all can see. We want to go back to a simpler time. The heartache of the Three of Swords that we are feeling, it's... it's we need to suspend that a little bit. Suspend the movement a little bit to just allow us to grieve for this wonderful woman. <laughs> and I, I hear, and for our country. And as we move forward, we have temperance with the hermit. Again, these two cards are telling me, let's just take a pause. There is an offer that's not being looked at and there is a choice that has something to do with world 
implications. So how is the world looking at this? The Wheel of Fortune. Completion. Karmic. With new news coming. And at the base of this, Page of Wands, Six of Coins, King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Huh. These two cards strike me. Uh, the Page of Wands and the King of Swords. Young younger news coming out that may you know that that may like ruffle some feathers but then you have the king of swords that is very mature hard truth um some investigation possibly about money being all tied up The Page of Cups also coming out with news. Whistleblower type thing. Why did that switch? Why did I switch that reading from... It went into, it went into investigations and money regarding the world. All right. Interesting. I'm, let's dig into that, because that was going to be another one of my questions. So the world is looking at us right now, obviously. I mean, come on. It's a big deal. So the world is looking at us, and then at the base of the pack, it went into investigations about money. For me and there's been um, some things in the news about some some investigation that's going to be coming out involving banks and hidden money and moving money around so let's look into that let's look into that Is there going to be some big news, big money laundering type news coming up in the near future that is going to shake things up? And I want to say shake things up because um, so much news that comes out just goes away and it shouldn't. So let's just see. Sorry, I just hit Mr. Microphone. I hope you can see that. We good? We good? We good? There we go. Okay. So, investigations, money investigations. That's going to shake up what we know. Because we need to be shooken up, right? We don't have enough going on. Eight of Swords. Yikes. Being crossed by Seven of Swords. At the base of the cup, illusion, delusions, a lot of different choices, which one's the right one, which... In the past, you have the Nine of Cups. Oh, happy, happy, happy. The Wish card. Knight of Wands ahead of us. Some news coming, and it's about being so, oh, happy, happy, happy. And then you have the Knight of Cups. This card feels so, um, like, not imprisoned. That card feels... 
That card feels imprisoned. This card feels so alone, like you could be in a jail thinking about what the heck did I do? This is more of a meditation, dark energy card. Tower. Four of Cups, crying over spilt milk. An offer being made that you're not looking at. Seven of Coins. That's in the hopes and fears. Reviewing finances, tending to them, taking care of them. The final outcome is the Page of Coins. New financial, not, not so much new, but it's more of a, of a young energy start. So you've already thought about it. They're already thinking about it. They've been looking at it. Now the new information is coming out. But it's still new. It's still young. Let's pull one more. And it's shadowy, shadowy. And at the base, the Ace of Swords, hard truth, with the Six of Wands. This is a winning card riding into town, but as I've said before in this deck, the Fountain deck, it looks like he's being roasted on stakes. This, to me, is not a winning card. It's a false win and it's about the security and way that they manage their money and they're in a battle and it's all about him and there and the Russian involvement. Yikes. Yikes. So, let's just take another look at this real quick. Is there gonna be some financial bombshell news that's gonna shake everybody up. If you just look at the colors of the cards, they look pretty dark. There's a couple of green spots in there. Um, but you have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So you have these, these sharp edges that are very restrictive. You can't move. And somebody took something. And it's going to be spun. They're going to try to spin it. That's at the base. And that's what everybody does. But if you look up at the top, it's news that's coming. And it's about the guys looking in the past. So it's looking backwards at all of this stuff. And so far, there's no money cards here. But in the... Um, and internally, they, they feel the tower moment coming. Whoever is involved in this money thing, they feel that, that tower moment coming. They're very, they're very alone and lost, and they're looking for some offer. Is it going to be made? And in the hopes and fears, they're fearing that people aren't really digging into it too much but they did find something, and it's not pretty. It's dark. And at the base, the, the underlying energy of all of this, as I pulled it, hard truth, being skewered about money. And the Nine of Wands, it just, the news just is gonna keep coming it's one news after another, after another, after another, and they keep having to battle it. And it's all about family money. So is this Don, Don, Donnie Jr. and Donnie Sr. and all of those? Ivanka? It's certainly about the devil being chained to him. And... It's about three of coins working together in some dark way. The underlyingness of this card is, is dark. 
So, if I were a betting man, and I'm not, we get to get some more news. Yay! That's what we want. All right. Um, let's switch it up. Let's go to uh, Trump's week. Somebody in the comments go, it sounds like you're saying Trump's week. It, it did. Trump's week. No. It sounds like you're saying he's not strong. No, I said Trump's week. <laughs> oh, guess what time it is. It's pumpkin card time. Oh, my little hummingbird came out and said, yeah, pumpkin cards. Pumpkin cards. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it when hummingbirds come see me. All right, let's talk about Trump's week, 26. And then we got to get into Biden's next five days. <laughs> Trump's week. Let's talk about Trump's week. Let me shuffle. Okay. So I was trying to tap into... Um, Trump's energy, which is always so much fun. And I got an image of two rooms. One was Biden's room. One was Trump's room. Trump's room had one person in it running from desk to desk, just spinning around, just kind of like, what, 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 Biden's room had the same number of desks in it and there was people at every single desk, and it was this hum of, of um, like a fine-tuned machine working towards one goal, where Trump just had one guy spinning around in circles. I wish I could say he was on one of those little hamster wheels, but he wasn't. He was just kind of going, looking from desk to desk, going, oh. Oh, I got to do that. Oh, no, I got to go over here and do this. Oh, I got, you know, just manic. Did you see how much money he's got? I read in the paper that he's got even less money. All right, so Trump's week. And I'm just going to read up till Friday. Um, let's just see what he's got going. I'm going to pull a card for each day. Okie dokie, card for each day. Oh, he's got bats. <laughs> Five of bats. That's today. Five of bats. So, oh, the poor kitty cat. The clown is telling him to go away. Oh. So, I'm just going to keep going before I... Oh. You know how I pulled uh, the Justice card last night? You saw how those beautiful wings were? Mmm. Mr. Pumpkinhead Justice. Justice is coming after the orange man. And there's a rat. There is a rat on one side of the scale. Uh-oh. And those two little things on the other side of the scale, is that Eric and, and Junior? They're scared. They're really scared. Oh, this is a good card. I could stare at this card card forever. All right, keep going. Strength. Two of ghosts. Communi uh, uh, partnership. And the king of bats. All right. Let's just pull this down next five days. Let's just pull this down and take a look at it. Okay, here we go. Pull it down. All right, 
I hope you all can see that. It's so hard. I need to get a camera that I can actually... Okay, sorry. Mr. Microphone fail. Everything fail. All right. Five of bats. To me, this card is saying it's just winning at any costs. However, he's got he's got somebody leaving. Five leaving? Five five of his allies are going away. Um but he still thinks he's got enough trick or treat bags. But I don't know. I think he's just being a clown. Whoever this person is. Just just saying. Whoever this red, orange person is. Um, they're going to be facing justice. And they're pretty scared of the justice. And it's going to hurt. There is... Looks like a voodoo doll with a heart and there's an arrow inside the heart. This justice is not, is not going to be um, good for this person stealing trick-or-treat bags. Shame on you. Yeah, it's not going to be good. And there is strength here. So is he showing that... Um, no. Look at the lion's eyes. It's like, oh, I'm really scared. This is not a strength card that says strength so much for the lion. It is strength for somebody who is... Um, filing these lion this lion's teeth but who is that i'm going to pull some clarifiers on that um you have the king of bats the king of swords some kind of legal thing is going to happen about these five bats that are flying away and to me this is a, a union card, and it's very happy. It's very, it's, it's like we're good with this. So I want to pull on these two cards just because um, I'm getting a sense this is a Democrat, even though I was reading on Trump's weaknesses, strength. He doesn't look so strong. Um, I just want to read on these two cards and see. Because this shifted it with, uh, with the King of Bats. So, who are these two ghosts that are so happy? Who is this about? King of Ghosts. Two of Ghosts. Two of Ghosts. What's the Two of Ghosts about? Six of Wands. Riding in the town like a winner. Five of Wands battling. Ooh. Riding in like a winner, battling with the devil. I, I still feel like this is... The Democrats, this is us being happy because of some news that came out. And let's talk about this strength card. What is going on with that strength card? Is this Trump being strong? I, I just heard no. Hmm. 
the slowest movie night with Page of Swords and the King of Swords. Yikes. There's something that's coming out about his money, about his finances, um, that's going to be challenging him. And so, no, he is not feeling. He wants to be strong, but it's it's not going to. It ain't going to happen. Oh, 35. 35 minutes. Yikes. Okay, got to talk about the next five days for Biden. Hang on. Next five days for Biden. Okie dokie, Biden's week. I know I keep saying, oh my gosh, I want to keep my videos short and they keep going long. Maybe I should just stop saying I'm going to keep them short and just let them go long. But then they may be like two hours. Anyway, let's drop it down. I pulled the cards already. So his week, he's uh, he's got the Three of Pentacles. Let me kick this over so you guys can see it better. Uh, three of Pentacles. He's working together with a lot of people. There is going to be some kind of decision that he's going to need to make this week. Um, and he's feeling the stress. He's feeling the heaviness of that load. However, he is managing it very well. It is, it is weighing him down. Um, and he does need to watch his back a little bit. But he, he's getting to the village. Um, He's got the Queen of Wands. Um, so there's going to be some more news that he's going to have to make a decision about which is the right... Pull some clarifiers on this. Seven of Cups. You know, what? which one is he going to take? He's a little unsure of which one, I think, or what this news is. So... Let's, let's pull some. Well, it's all about balance, which he does so well. He's going to be bringing in balance, and it's going to um, be looked at on the world stage. 
obviously. People are really looking at this. This is an important one. And the emperor is going to be throwing some crap at him, at, at um, Joe Biden. And it's going to, and the world's going to look at it. But Joe's going to bring balance to it. So, you know, when you're dealing with the orange pumpkin head, it is, it's got to be expected, right? Um, these Republicans, they are just throwing everything they can. See, Trump's rally, they were cheering that Al Verdi, Veshi, the MSNBC reporter that got hit in the knee with a I think it was a tear gas pellet or something, and he went down. He's like, ow, 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 my knee. People are all laughing. And, yeah, yeah. Like, why would you do that? Anyway, breathe. Let's pull a final card as we get out of here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have. I'm not really sure what that does, but... Oh, maybe it kicks me up so people can see me. I don't know. But thank you. Okay. Card to leave with. That's it. Ooh. I love this one. Six of air. It's a big boat with sails. And it's sailing on to smoother water. It's interesting with this boat. It almost looks like it's going away, but it's coming to you. So it could be coming or going. I don't know. Anyway. Um, six of air. Be focused, allow the wind to take us where it goes, but let's not get caught up in the muck. There is no muck in this picture. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. Peace and love.